Hi, this is Rebecca Martinez from artscalifornia.net, and today I'm visiting with an amazing artist, Kirsty Roberts, who works with, tell me the name of it again. Um, I call it hex mesh wire. Uh -huh. It's one of the many fencing wires that are made in this hex mesh fashion. Uh, we have from chicken wire, gopher wire, this is gopher wire, um, and the reason it's different is double dipped. After they weave it, um, they dip it again in the galvanized. Mm -hmm. So it, it works a little different than regular chicken wire when we have it all over ourselves and it's spongy. <laughs> is, it, is it easy to work with? Um, I would say I find it easy to work with. Um, I like this stiffer wire better because I don't need to work on framework underneath it. Um, all of my first um, uh, sculptures and things, I had to do well with the underlying um, a frame, frame. Mm -hmm. yes, mm -hmm. and that was the biggest deal. It was very hard to do that. So when I found this wire that doesn't move, I was very thrilled. <laughs> this is a beautiful little piece, and do you call this piece the Bluebird of Happiness? I do. The Bluebird of oh, Happiness so is one of my um, favorite pieces. It was just, um, you know, the little birds kind of take on their own little character, and they cock their mm -hmm. head a certain way, and it's just all in the making process. But um, it is one of my favorite pieces. And would this piece um, do well outside? Yes, all of them. Um, I use all materials that are indoor, outdoor, safe. Um, the little screen that I use for um, little details and extra is uh, aluminum screening. Mm -hmm. The glass beads, uh, everything weather's fine. I've got pieces outside that have been out there for years and the color just stays. Mm -hmm. And how did you get into this? Um, I say it was a combination of things. Uh, my mom and I, she owned a flower shop about 15 years ago, and we were mm -hmm. doing paper mache at the time, but she liked the little frameworks um, to do ivies over and things like that. So we started mm -hmm. doing it at that time. Um, her flower shop came and went. Um, we kind of set things aside. And then several years later, she got into a nursery um, near where she lives, and they love the just the basic wire shapes too for topiary style stuff and she, so she started planting all the ivies and making the topiary styles uh -huh. um, and that's kind of what gave us our idea. I was working full time um, with a, a big corporation and uh, I was you know just trying to get back to what we were doing. So let's just touch upon that big corporation. So you've not always devoted your no life to art. You've no, I have three children, <laughs> and my husband and I were we were doing a household and paying truck payments uh -huh. and house payments and all that stuff. So mm -hmm. no, there was a a long period where I had to focus on you know getting our kids through school and high school and the whole bit. So I kind of set mm -hmm. art aside, even though I dabbled in it on my own. Mm -hmm. um, I didn't try to you know I wasn't out in the world doing it. So well, from what I've seen of you, you are kind of a fountain of creativity. I don't think anybody could ever turn that off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it just kind of comes, you know. And my mom's that way too, and her mom, you know, my grandmother, also still very um, artistic. <laughs> Sounds like we have a little competition from the fabrication shop next yes. door. <laughs> That's okay, though. This is a creative place, isn't it? Yes, it is. Uh -huh. Yeah, this is a great place. Mm -hmm. um, what else can you tell me about what you do here or what you've done in the past? Um, well, uh, we did start our little website. Um, we found that it's... You and your mom? Yes, okay. my mom uh -huh. and I. It was called Wire Wonder Sculptures. And from Is that there, still in existence? No, um, we closed shop. My mom had trouble um, keeping up with the website and all the things that were necessary, mm -hmm. and and she just felt that it was time for her to retire. Um, other things came into play yeah, in her yeah, life. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. she's got a little farm and all kinds of stuff going on. So we decided to close that, and then I looked on for other things. Um, I found high hand on my search for other things, mm -hmm. but I was always intending to uh, market to either nursery style places because it blends so well with plants and things mm -hmm. or find other outlets. Um, I've got a lot of interest from event planners, oh. uh, people that are trying to do like tablescapes for big events. Yeah, or, these would be perfect yeah, for and, that. Yeah, and because it's um, not a very expensive material, it's easy to move, mm -hmm. it's not heavy. Um, the only thing, you just can't let it catch your sweater. You might be in trouble. But <laughs> so um, I got a lot of interest that way, and I started to delve into that, but I ended up here, and that took some of my time. And it's still new to me, uh -huh. uh, the whole art world and all the possibilities. So I intend to kind of 
find my sweet spot somewhere. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We'll have to be sure we keep our eye on where you end up landing. <laughs> yeah. Well, yes, we'll see. <laughs> we'll can see what you, the world does. What, can you can sh- can you just step over there and maybe pick up one of your little ornaments so we can look at it? Oh, the uh, butterflies. Yeah. yeah oh got, my god! This year, I've got These a whole new so line of beautiful, <laughs> of pretty ones. These are just beautiful. I don't know if you can see that. They're just shiny. <laughs> yeah, they're really they're really popular. And these just clip off the. Yeah, Christmas you can tie tree. them on a branch or uh-huh. hang them or however. That's why I give the little extra lead underneath. And how much do these sell for? These are only twenty five dollars. <gasps> oh my um, god! But they are kind of a little bling spot, in, either yeah. in the garden or uh, during the holidays. I love that. So I think we're gonna um, take a look around the rest of your studio here. Is there anything that means a piece that might mean a lot to you or have special... not particularly i you know everything is uh, you know somebody that i created so they're all special in their own way but <laughs> they um develop and you know uh, what do you call evolve as time goes on uh-huh you know i do have one more question for you does this medium require a lot of tools no i use wire cutters and just um what do you call um, pliers mostly, mm-hmm. and it's my hands. It's it's just stretching it and pulling it and moving it. Okay, and well, I, a big big thing of shears to cut it. But uh-huh. <laughs> I work off of a five foot roll. Uh, well, I think you um, you have a gift for seeing what this uh, wire will evolve into. The first letting the personality of each piece come through. Yeah, it kind of does yeah. take on its own character. It was yeah. something that both my mother and I found that it does. Uh, take on its own as as you're working with it, you know. Uh-huh. But it's fun. Well, thank you so much, Kirsty. <laughs> Thanks. Thank you. <laughs>